don't be uh, ashamed or don't be afraid to ask for advice, right? Mm-hmm. So to this day, I have people that I surround myself with who are trusted advisors. So don't go it alone, get a trusted yeah. advisor. Uh, and by the way, choose somebody who's successful. Yeah. Don't find a trusted advisor who thinks they know what they're doing. But if you look at what, if you look at them, their life and their business, you know, their life might not be successful uh, personally and their business might not be successful. So they might be the nicest person in the world. And they might be fun to go play golf with, but that is not your trusted advisor. Right. Find somebody who's, who really understands business. It doesn't have to even be your business and surround mm-hmm. yourself with like four or five of those. Um, I did not do that early on, but I began to just organically, I had a gut feeling and I began to do it thankfully early enough. And mm-hmm. I, I always had those trusted advisors that would, um, really fill me up with really good ideas. Um, excuse me. I had one advisor who is to this day, still a great friend of mine, very successful business guy said to me, I was about to uh, do my first merger back in 2014. He's like, listen, you don't want business partners. He's like, I'm telling you, don't ever have a business partner. And uh, I, I understood his reasoning and, but I made a strategic decision to, to, to do a, a merger with somebody ended up yeah. having a business partner. I ended up doing, another two acquisitions. And then in the end, it turned out that he was right. However, the journey I took, which was full of mistakes, full of drama and full of, you know, partner issues. It was one of the best mistakes I ever made. Hmm. Right. Because I learned a lot along the way. I ended up buying all the partners out. I'm the only owner of the company now. And I, the lessons I learned through that, um, and the, the time, the pain, you know, and some yeah. suffering they're invaluable lessons that now I, I pass on to friends of mine who are business owners who are about to go through the same struggles. Yeah. So while you have mentors that will give you advice, you still have to make your own decisions. The other thing I'll say is don't get emotionally hooked on, on an idea. Okay. Be creative and get all your information and, and you know, know what you're doing when you, when you're going to make a decision, but you got to know when to pivot. Mm. But don't get stuck on something. You know, if you if you buy a stock at 30, it's down to 20. And don't hold on to that emotionally and say, oh, I'm going to wait till it comes back to 35. Sell it and move on. Gotcha. You know, okay. and, and so one of the things that I'm actually best at is I have no fear of pivoting. I pivot all the time. The people that work with me sometimes it drives them nuts because we'll be doing something. We're going like full speed this way. And I'll say, no, stop. It's been six months. This is not working. We've invested X amount of dollars in it. Fine. Right investment was a lesson learned. I just got another education. We're going this way. Yeah. And um, not, I'm not always right. I'm not always wrong, but you go with your gut, but you got it. You, you have to be able to pivot. Yeah. Um, and I learned along the way, the times when I didn't listen to my gut and I didn't pivot or I didn't go with my gut, um, it usually didn't turn out right. Mm. And, and there's a reason why you have a gut instinct. Yep. Your gut instinct because your mind is connected to your body. Yep. And subconsciously, your mind knows through all your years of being on this earth when something just doesn't make sense and it's subconscious and that's called wisdom. Mm-hmm. And when you when your wisdom kicks in, it sends a signal to your stomach and something don't feel right. You have a right. gut instinct, okay? Yeah. If, if something doesn't seem right, it's not right, go with it. And I'll give you a great example of what that might be. There's plenty of times where I'll write an email and I write the email in the wrong mindset. Mm. Maybe I'm a, little, I'm a little upset. Yeah. I learned a couple of years ago to send that email to myself. I feel better after I sent it. I got it, <laughs> I got it out of me. I got True. it passed through me. Yeah. I leave it in my inbox. The next day I'll read the email and I'll be like, oh my God, thank God I did not send that right. out. What was I thinking? Yeah. Well, my gut instinct, I knew like, yeah, you know what? I better not send this. How many people send off the nasty grams? And it's like you start wars. Like, yep. So an important piece of advice is trust your gut. 